If you're looking for information on why the tilt and trim doesn't work on your Yamaha outboard, you've come to the right place. Now, perhaps by now you've already seen my other videos on replacing the tilt and trim pump motor, as well as the seals in the tilt and trim unit. But what if it's neither of those? What if it's this guy, our tilt and trim relay? Well, typically having a tilt and trim relay fail on one of these, you're going to get motion in one direction. So for example, let me show you with this outboard, you push the up button. Hopefully you'll be able to hear that click um, in the video, but doesn't go up, but you push down, goes down A-OK. -okay. Does not go up. For a further test, let's come over here, get inside of the electrical box, and we will take a look at that trim relay, test it with a multimeter, and prove that that is our problem, why this motor won't go up and down. So with our cover removed here, this is our culprit right here. Now, we've got this white and this black wire here on these two poles. And if we pull these down, that is our out to our motor. So we've got negative coming in here and we've got positive coming in over here. So what we're going to do is put our multimeter on these two. These two outermost ones right here and push the up button and see if we get 12 volt. So let me set you over here where you can see, hopefully. So with our multimeter set here to DC volts, you can connect right there and you see it's zero. Push the up button, still zero. Fidgets around a little bit, but if we push down, 10.8, which sounds about right, given that it's running the trim motor and the engine isn't running. So that proves to us this relay is not working properly. So let's remove this, put in our new one, and retest. So the first thing we want to do in order to replace this is find the boat's battery. And since this has a disconnect switch, switch that to off. Otherwise, we would disconnect one of the leads from our battery so that we don't accidentally short something out and cause a bigger problem. So now with that switch turned off, we're ready to replace our trim relay. Replacing our trim relay is pretty simple. We're gonna disconnect our white and black wires that go to the motor. We need to remember which position they're in. So our white is up here and our black is down here. Otherwise, the directions will be reversed when you go to run the motor. All right, there's our old relay removed. Grab our new relay, which is color-coded, although we do have to um, Rearrange stuff a little bit here because this is set up to have a positive lead that comes in and this motor has a positive lead with two connectors. So we've got to uh, redo this just a little, little bit. Let's go switch our battery switch back on and give this thing a try. So there we have it. That new relay is installed. The battery switch is on. Let's see what it does. That's fixed. That's all there is to it. It's pretty easy to do. You could do this right in your own driveway or honestly even out in the water if you really needed to. Now, hopefully this has been helpful to you and 
you've got your tilt and trim working, whether it was from this video or one of the others that I've made related to these Yamaha outboard tilt and trim systems. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.